Joe and Josh from PH Tennis, and we're doing a massive service for you today because we're going to review. Do you reckon they know what it is? They might do now. Oh. We are going to review all of the tennis balls so that you don't have to. So we're going to get you to a point where you know which is the best ball for Astro, which is the best ball for Clay, which is the best ball on Hardcore, which is the best ball overall. And we're talking durability, playability, a little bit on value and price maybe as well. Yeah, exactly. We got as many as we could carry. We've obviously can't do every ball the same way we can't do every string, um, but we've done a whole range across all the brands uh, to give you the best advice we can. And we've also got the, the most popular balls. Head Tour is very popular in our shop. Um, we coach with the Wilson Trinity due to their durability. Um, we're also playing with the uh, Slazenger Wimbledon, used at Wimbledon, the Wilson Roland Garros, which is used at Roland Garros, the Wilson US Open, which is used at the US Open to some controversy in recent years. Really? Yeah, because the men and women had different weight balls. Oh, uh, they did, didn't they? Yeah. So, we're going to get on court, we're going to test them as rigorously as we possibly can, and we're going to get you some feedback on those balls. You're Enjoy! All, you're welcome. Let's do it. So, really important was our process. We didn't want to be... Um, we don't want to take any preconceptions in. So it was really important that we didn't know what tennis balls we were using. Obviously that was pretty difficult when you're picking it up and you having it in your own hand. So we let all the balls go out on the ground. So we had nine different balls, was it? Nine. Yeah. So four of each. So we've got 36 balls on the ground and we had no idea. Just picked up, fed the ball in, played out with it and just saw how it felt. After we finished, had a little look and did it that way. So it was important that we didn't say, oh, we know what's coming. We know what to expect. So we tried to make it as random as possible for our first go anyway. Yeah, then we had all the balls and we had someone, obviously as you can see, showing it to the camera then passing it in to make sure that we used all of them in a row so you could directly compare which one you preferred over and above. And then we ranked them all from that first kind of go on the Astro um, to see our favourite to our least favourite. So whilst not scientifically rigorous, certainly not a just a whatever we fancied and how we feel. So we, we feel like we've given a, the best possible way of doing a true scientific test given the circumstances. It's not, and it's not easy, is it? No, not it's easy. It's not easy. I think you find that there is, there is, the balls kind of categorise themselves, roughly speaking, when you just start playing with them into good and not good, or I like these, I don't like these. And yes. we were able to get a little bit more specific than that, but you know, it, it seems to be that we, you kind of group them rather than rank them was, was a better way to do it. So Ben, what was your top three? So I've gone for the Bablat Team All Court, the Head Tour, and the Wilson US Open. And I don't really have a particular order, one to three. I just think all three were perfectly good. Um, could notice a difference between them and the others. So like I said before, I'd happily use one of these three balls without any consideration. Interesting, Joseph. Um, slightly different. So in at number three, the Roland Garros. Obviously not designed for this surface, but works really well for me because it ends up being quite similar, I think, to my number one ball. But before that, number two is the Yonex. Very nice. And the number one for me was the Wilson uh, US Open. Cool. Uh, kind of similar for me. In third place, I had the Yonex Tour. In second place, I had the head tour. Uh, and my favorite also on the Astro was the Wilson US Open. So that's our first third of our review. We're now gonna head over to the hard court, do the same process, and we'll let you know how we get on. So we've just uh, had our go on the hard court. Um, again, used all nine balls, used them randomly, used them in order so we could give our opinions. Um, Joe, will it be fun? Well, I think in interesting in the hard court, it seemed to be that there was a less obvious difference between the balls. So in a way, even more difficult to rank um, accurately. Essentially, we got to a point where we found these are balls we'd be happy to play matches with, these are balls we are not. And then uh, for me and Josh, especially a couple in the middle that you're like, ah, okay. So, yeah. so the top five that we all actually agreed on, which is very rare, so they must all be good. Um, well, we've got the Slazenger Wimbledon, the classic. All that for me yet. We've got the Wilson US Open again. The Yonex Tour, the Head Tour, and the Babalat Team All Court. They're the ones that we, we are happy to play with and we think they were, they were good enough and we'd be really pleased to be playing with them on court. What 
the, we had the sort of second category, and that was the Wilson Trinity. Yeah, the Trinity Club. And the Roland Garros. Yes, that's right. Which we thought were okay, not ideal on this I, surface. I think they were both slightly heavier. Um, and the Trinity is probably too lively on a hard court. And yeah. the Roland Garros, yeah, that slightly heaviest. But obviously that should come into its own on the clay. Yes. So we'll, we'll find and, out. And the, and the ones that we really didn't like, and to, let's be honest, we didn't like on either surface, but yeah. I think it was more evident even on, on the hard court, yeah, sure. was the Head Reset and the Wilson Trinity Pro. And we disliked them so much, we couldn't even be bothered to pick them up and bring them here to show you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the clay. So we've just finished playing on uh, the clay courts. Um, as our final uh, surface to play on, what did we think? Yeah, interesting. It was more similar to the Astro in there was a different, an obvious difference in the quality and the playability of the balls. Whereas on the hard court, I think we found there wasn't a, a much of a muchness really. So we did the same as last time. We played, th we played through each ball. We played them one at a time. We played them all out on the court, um, and then we ranked them. And, and there's there's a sort of ranking, and there's a grouping. Yeah, yes. I think the grouping is probably fairer. Um, of yeah. ones that are in tiers rather than one to nine. Okay, so in the bottom tier. The bottom, well, in fact, the, in the bottom, the very bottom tier was in a tier of its own was the head reset. Reset, not recess. The head reset was in the bottom. Um, it sounds awful. Plays awful. Feels, a, feels awful. It's a proper traditional pressureless ball that you'd like a coaching ball. It's not, yeah. not worth it for a match for sure. Definitely not. Um, so then the first sort of tier up from that, we've got the Trinity Pro, the Head Tour, and the uh, Slazenger Wimbledon. Yeah, and I think but I think to me, both the Slazenger Wimbledon and the Head Tour just felt a bit light. I'd say the Trinity on, as on well. This, yeah, I get, yeah, I guess the, the Trinity as well. They felt quite light on the surface, and it was actually the heavier balls that fared well on the clay. Yeah, agreed. Uh, next tier up, we have the Wilson US Open and the Trinity Club. The normal Trinity ball, not the Pro. Um, slightly, slightly harder. Yeah, slightly sli heavier. Slightly harder, um, and yeah, and and just played better than than those other three. Mm -hmm. Much more to be said, really. Not yeah. really. And then the top tier. Very near. No, not quite. Oh no, not quite. No. Sorry. The very close to the top tier. The but penultimate not quite. tier. Exciting stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Bavalat team all court and the Yonex tour. Both played really, really nicely on the clay. Yeah, and I think the, the only difference, the thing for me that separates these two from, from the ball that wins on the clay is that these felt a little bit like little bullets. They're kind of quite, they're quite hard. They play really nicely, but they're a little bit harder. Um, yeah, a little bit more bullety. Yeah, that's a very common word when you used to describe tennis balls. <laughs> yeah. Tennis, tennis so ball bullets. Bullety. The bullets. There we go. And the number one. Ron Garros. The Wilson Road. As you kind of expect, Ron and Garros designed for clay, we're playing on clay. We weren't we, we weren't sure if it would actually play the best, um, but it is noticeable. Yeah, it feels bigger, it feels nicely balanced, Not to, it's not too heavy. I mean, it's heavier, but it's not un unplayable. Um, yeah, I, the best, yeah. thank God. Yeah, it kind yeah, of makes could sense. Could you imagine if it was the worst on clay? <laughs> yeah. it's, quite, it? it's, it's nice when something designed for something works. Like, yes. let's make a ball for clay and it works for clay and it's definitely the best. Of all the surfaces, all the balls, it's the one that stood out as actually being, like having yes. a home almost. Like, yeah, yeah. Enough, yeah. Everyone Astro Turf, they were all okay. On the hard court, they were all okay. But on the clay I mean, court, I did ring Queen's Club, but they wouldn't let us on the grass to use the Slazengers this mm. time. Maybe right. next year. We need more yeah. likes, follows, and subscribes. Yeah, Tell your friends. <laughs> Get sharing. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. What a pro. <laughs> In summary, we played with nine different tennis balls across three different surfaces in about the same sort of weather conditions. What we then did was we left the balls in our coaching bags and played with them for a number of weeks to see how durability affected the balls going forward. So, straight out the tube, the number one ball from PH Tennis was the Wilson US Open. Fantastic ball. In that same top tier, again going across three surfaces, was the Babalat team, the Yonex Tour and the Head Tour. So they were there are top tier balls. So if someone turns up for a match with those, anytime, any surface, we're happy to play with them. Yeah. Yeah. 
On to the middle tier. Middle tier, we have the Wilson Trinity, the Slazenger Wimbledon, the old classic, uh, and another Wilson ball, the Wilson Roland Garros. The Wilson Roland Garros. So those are our middle tier, which uh, means we liked them, but it was dependent on surface, which we'll get onto. Yeah. Uh, and in the bottom tier, um, the head reset, which we definitely didn't like, plays like a sort of classic, cheap... Um, pressureless ball. Pressureless yeah. ball, yeah. Um, didn't sound great, didn't feel great, and didn't play very well either. Um, and also in that category, which was a bit of a surprise, was the Wilson... Trinity Pro. So the Trinity Pro is supposed to be a sort of better playing version of the, version Trinity. Of the Trinity, but it actually seemed worse. Yeah. That might be because we're more used to playing with the Trinities and not the Trinity Pro, but it just had, it had that similar feel to the reset rather than that quality of the other top tier. Maybe it's because we're not pros and Trinity Pros were pros. Possibly. Maybe. Um, so that's overall straight out of the tube. Um, it's worth mentioning. So the US Open was the winner um, was the winning ball on AstroTurf. Yep. Um, it graded out similarly on the hard courts. In the hard courts, there was much less difference between them, wasn't it? They all played more similarly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the hard court was a was a was an equaliser, was a leveller um, in some regards. Um, and the best ball on the clay was the Roland Garros, which is a relief. Um, yeah, because, Wilson will be happy. Yeah, because it was designed for that surface and, and it does play the best on that surface. The other top tier balls were also fine on that surface, but it was something about the, the Roland Garros just felt that um, it worked better on the clay. Slightly yeah. heavier. Um, so I, th I think I said it on court, it felt slightly bigger. Yeah, which it's strange. Which is strange, but if you play with it on clay, you'll get what I mean. That's out, that's out of the tin. In terms of durability, there is no question at all that the Wilson Trinity is the best ball for durability, without without question. So four weeks four weeks on, the ball is still playing the same way it was out of the tube. How many hours of tennis do you think that probably is? I mean, twenty hours at least. Yeah, yeah at least twenty hours of play over four weeks in f fairly terrible conditions because we're in England. Um, so the Trinity the Trinity was absolutely amazing at maintaining bounce. It starts to lose some felt and stuff as you yeah. expect, but in terms of bounce, in terms of playability, stays exactly the same. So incredible durability. The worst for durability were the Roland Garros, which we had to take out of our bag, coaching bag, because they died so quickly. We couldn't, we couldn't use them anymore. They weren't fit for coaching. Um, the Slazenger Wimbledon, which everyone kind of is used to, right? Everyone knows that that dies. And the head tour, similar, not as bad as the um, as the Roland Garros yeah, for the tour and, okay. and not as bad as the Wimbledon. The tour is okay, but if you want durability, you're looking at Trinity, the Babolat team, all Babolat all team, the Yonex, the Yonex tour, yeah. then the US Open in terms of durability. So in terms of value, yeah, really? so because of the, yeah, the, I guess the value in terms of the price point of buying them doesn't differ that much. It might be a, a couple of pounds here or there across the across a tube, but when you put when you factor in how long you can use them, that's where the value kind of comes in. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it, it depends. I would, for a match, I would always want fresh balls, and they and you know that they're going to be fine for a match. So any of those top tier balls are going to be fine for that. If you're going to be playing with the balls a little bit longer, maybe they're going to sit in your bag and you're going to use them. For, for more than more than a couple of sets, Wilson Trinity is the only way to go. And not only is it the only way to go, because it lasts longest, it's also the most environmentally friendly. So your carbon footprint reduced by using, by having to get new balls less often, the packaging's all recycled. recycled. So, there you go. We've done a great service for you. That is Tennis Balls Reviewed on all surfaces. Let us know what you think. Like, follow, subscribe, get playing more tennis. It's because Josh keeps on moving this way because he can't see himself on the camera. Oh, right, so he wants to be able to be able to see himself on the camera. Again. It's just gonna be easier just to put him in the middle. <laughs> Otherwise, I, what's the? Ah, oh, right? that's better. So you just tell me if I'm but in. But now it looks like we're on a little high <laughs> down slope. Doesn't <laughs> it? I'm the, I look the taller. Ones all the time uh, to see how they came across. 
How did we find that? Why, why, have we, why have we become the interviewees? <laughs> yeah. Why are you the host? And why are you hosting it for children? We put balls everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no one's enjoying this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no I think it's a, it's a more real look into how we actually interact with each other.